Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a moderation analysis with the process macro in SPSS with a binary moderator. Uh, before watching this video, I highly recommend watching my original video on moderation analysis. In that video, I covered the basics of moderation analysis, uh, what it means, uh, how to run it with a continuous variable, which is more common and also how to report it, uh, how to interpret the, the results. So uh, it, it's very helpful to watch that video before watching this follow-up video. Binary categorical variables have only two possible categories, only two, not more and not less. And we also call them dichotomous variables. Examples are customer satisfaction, satisfied, dissatisfied, coin toss, uh, which has only two possible outcomes and uh, having a type of disease which is uh, yes or no. So only two possible uh, outcomes. In terms of coding, you can code them differently, like uh, one, two, for example, one for yes and two for no, or any, any, uh, any two numbers you can actually use. But my recommendation is to always use dummy coding which is zero one. So for example, for disease, it would be yes is one and no is zero. If you use zero one, then you have a dummy variable, you're using dummy coding. And that uh, is not a requirement for running the moderation analysis that I'm going to show you today, but it's very helpful for interpreting your coefficients related to your binary variable. All right, in SPSS, I'm going to use the data file called D2 for this demonstration, which has a variable called sex. Uh, this variable has two values, zero and one. So other uh, gender categories are not included. It only It is only limited to two values which makes it a binary variable. It's very important for you to make sure that your variable is really a binary, a dichotomous variable. It has only two values. And for that, you can easily click on analyze descriptive statistics and check the frequencies for your variable. In this case, my variable is sex. I'll send it to this box and click OK. And there are only two values in for this variable in my data set, which means that I really am dealing with a dichotomous binary variable. Let's do a moderation analysis with sex as our moderator. Analyze uh, regression and process macro. Here, your Y variable, your dependent variable, happiness. Extra version is your independent variable, X variable or predictor. And you send sex to the moderator variable box. So the macro automatically identifies your variable as a binary variable. If your variable has only two values, the macro knows how to deal with it. It identifies it as a binary variable and runs the analysis accordingly. You don't need to do any extra thing about your binary moderator here. So like always, we uh, accept the risk of having uh, long variable names. Uh, you need to click on options. Uh, we need visualization, so I, I tick this option. Three decimal places is enough. And I want to center my predictor variable. In this case, extra version will be centered. And uh, only continuous variables are going to be uh, centered. This means only extra version. And gender, because it's it's a categorical variable, it doesn't have even a valid mean or average, so it's not going to be centered. And uh, you don't need to do anything here when you have a binary moderator. But 
uh, in the previous video, I didn't mention this. Uh, it's, it's good time to clarify that. I recommend uh, choosing always because if you have a significant moderation or a non-significant moderation, in both cases, the, the macro will provide you with uh, conditional effects. But if you choose only if the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05, you will get conditional effects only if your interaction is significant. So let's choose always to be able to probe our interaction, even if it's not significant. So uh, that's all we need to do here. Click on continue and click on OK. You are testing model one, which is a simple moderation. And your dependent variable, your Y variable is happiness, your predictor is extraversion, and your moderator is sex. Giving you your sample size, if your sample size here is smaller than the actual sample size in your data set, it's because you have missing values. You get the R square, which is very high, F value, degrees of freedom, and P value, which is significant here. But uh, we are very curious about the interaction term. This is what the macro has created, the interaction term. And uh, uh, the macro tells you that this is an interaction between extraversion and sex. And if this is significant, we have a significant moderation. If this is not significant, we don't have a significant moderation. So this is a very critical estimate in the output. And the p-value is this value. In this case, is significant. If uh, your selected significance level is 0 0.05, it's smaller than 0 0.05. So we can say that it's significant in this case. So we have a significant moderation. What does it mean? This means that the relationship between extraversion and happiness, your outcome, depends on sex or gender or whatever you call it. So this relationship between extraversion and happiness is different for females and males. Now, if you remember, uh, zero in your sex variable, zero indicates female and one indicates male. And you see that this relationship is stronger for females. And we also want to visualize our interaction effect to see what is really happening here. So if you remember, we need to copy this part of the output from data to this full stop here, copy, and then we open a syntax file, paste it here, and run all the syntax. This is what you get. It needs uh, some work. Click on it and choose, uh, so click on variables. And here, choose fit line, apply. Uh, let's see what this plot is showing. It's basically showing uh, conditional effects. So for females, zero is for females, the effect, the effect is stronger and for males is slightly weaker. And here you can see the same thing for females, the relationship between extraversion and happiness is stronger and for males is weaker. So this is the meaning of your interaction effect. This plot is helping you to understand what is happening here. As you can see, we only have two lines here because we only have two groups. If you have a continuous variable, you uh, optimally get three lines for low levels, average level and high levels of your moderator. But here we only have two values. So our plot has only two lines here. So again, double click on the plot and you get these properties window here. First of all, I don't want this background color. So under fill and border, uh, 
So if you click on the background, then you choose no color and apply and uh, you get the white background. You even can lose these uh, bars, click on it and again, choose no color and they are gone. Uh, I usually delete this, this part not needed. And also you should tell your readers about your values because they don't know zero means a female and one means male in your data. So you click on it as many times as needed and then change the labels female for zero. And again, male for one. Uh, if you click on these labels, you can change them. They absolutely need to be changed. Maybe you need to capitalize the first uh, letter. But also you can add pattern to these lines. For example, if you click on these lines, maybe two times, uh, now the blue line is selected. And here I choose line and choose a pattern. Maybe this pattern. Uh, you can even change the color if you want. So if you apply, then we have a pattern here. You can do the same thing for this line as well. And uh, you can also change this label in any way you want. Uh, you can change the font size, uh, font type. And uh, for example, you can change the style, make it italic if you want. Anyway, when you are done with this, just close the window and you get this plot. Now, if you right click on it and choose export, uh, here choose uh, graphics only. So we are exporting the plots and uh, choose your folder directory here. And also you can increase the image size to 200, which I think is the maximum image size that you can choose. Continue. Okay, now this plot is exported to the directory you chose.